guys so i'm kind of starting this video off kind of weird um for starters um welcome back to my channel um if i'm talking a little weird it's because i have my retainers in and um the washing the not the washing machine the dishwasher whoa why does my lashes look like this um my dishwasher is going right now so it might be pretty loud but um i just wanted to come in and talk to you guys really quick i have like 10 minutes on this in this card so if it cuts off um i'll get back to okay i'm like trying not to like start already because i don't want to be that girl who's crying on camera okay so let me just start so i am coming to the realization that my close friends, my family are toxic to my well-being, to my mental health, to how I function, to how I just look at life as a whole. And it really is taking a toll on me um it's just so frustrating when somebody who's supposed to be the like the people who are supposed to be closest to you are the most toxic to you are the ones to trigger you the most knowing also that they've known you for so long so they know your triggers so it's just like I, I don't understand like how do you isolate yourself from people like that people who are supposed to be you know the closest to you I'm just like really emotional right now I've literally been crying on and off for the past couple days I don't know if it's the hormones in my birth control or if it's just you know what's been going on but like my dad came to visit me for the past couple days and it just really triggered a lot for me um I really just feel like I have been doing a lot of stuff wrong in life because I have always been in this position where I have to meet these expectations. I'm not happy anymore. Like, I'm not happy having to live like that anymore. I just don't want to keep feeling like this. I don't want to feel like I'm living for somebody else's expectations. I don't wanna feel like I'm not doing what I wanna do because I wanna please for somebody that I love. Um, they should love me enough to know that I should be doing what makes me happy. I should be doing what's best for me. I just feel like a lot of the time too, um, not only my family, but you know, people who I consider very close to me or not even just close, but have known me for a while. So they know me as a person, personally. Like I've had a couple people in my life who know me, like know me personally. And it's, I can count them on my one hand. A lot of the times I'm put in situations where it's like, you knew that would hurt me. Like you knew that was selfish. You knew that was inconsiderate. Why would you do that to me? And that's what I mean, like it's just like over and over again, like the people who are closest to me, like why would you do that? I'm so sick of being that backbone, and that, that stool to step on, and I never get even a quarter of that in return. I'm being pushed over and over and over again, and then that's when my bad habits start to come back. That's when I feel like I'm losing self-control again. I... I can't put my I can't keep putting myself in situations like that. I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be I I, I want to be building myself to be a better woman, a better person for myself. So why am I always constantly in the situation where I'm putting myself around people who trigger the the wrong side of me to come back? I don't know. I just wanted to come on here to talk to you guys because I'm just really upset. Um I just really want to be the best version of me and I can't do that when the people around me, the people that I love are damaging that that progress, that growth. I wanna figure out how I can change this so that I don't go back down a road that I, that I really hated being on. I wanna be able to hopefully make somebody else see that 
we have to put ourselves first. We have to be selfish. Um, I have been selfless for so long. I'm tired of having to feel like I'm doing stuff for others and not doing stuff for myself. And I'm not gonna keep doing it. I'm not. I'm about to put you guys right here and pray. Ray, matter of fact, okay, it's supported. Uh, 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 what the hell? I have a badass shadow under my eye. We're gonna do a quick grocery haul. Start with Trader Joe's. I got some brioche bread. I got some pasta. The pasta was a dollar. Can't eat that, so I got penne and I got rotini. Then I got. I didn't stop buying this, okay? This is honestly my comfort, my comfort snack, whatever the case may be, but I brought another one of these. I just love these so much, so I brought another one. But honestly, I think it expires soon, because what's today's date? Today's the 17th. Yeah, it expires at the end of the week, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to eat that this week. I got my, oh, I gotta put these in the freezer. I got my sweet potato. Fries, I seen that when I was in Trader Joe's. And they got these cute little bags for, is this for Christmas? Oh, I thought it was for, I thought these bags were for Valentine's Day, but these are like, they're probably gonna run their um, holiday bags. So that is what I got from Trader Joe's. Okay, I'm gonna make French toast this week. I'm gonna make French toast this week. So, um, yeah. Then I went to, all these, I didn't really get shit from all these. You guys seen they didn't have anything that I needed. So I just got some organic eggs. I already put those in the fridge already. And then I went to Home Goods. Went to Home Goods, got some more hangers. You guys know they are bomb for hangers for cheap. I got these gray velvety hangers for my closet. Um, I got a pan. Because my other pans, they've been getting dirty too easily. And yeah, so I got this because I hate having to scrub my other pans. And then it scratches it and it just makes it look nasty. So I brought this to cook with. It was $16. And then I got this um, for my stove. I honestly needed to get, that's what I should have got. That's what I needed to get that I didn't get. I was supposed to get oven mitts for my freaking oven. So I got to get that eventually. I probably order those off of Amazon because I keep forgetting every time I go to the store. So I brought this for my um, oven though to put on top of these. They kind of go, they kind of don't. I don't know. They're going to have to go. So I got that and I got this for $7 from Home Goods. Um... Then I got an ice cream scooper, which is something I needed. Um, got that. It's a cool snart, whatever the heck these people are called. I gotta stop shopping at Target because I clearly think I got money. Target is so expensive, especially for like the basic stuff that you can get from Walmart for like super cheap. Anyways, so then I got some EOS shaving cream because honestly, guys, I never shave with shaving cream. I always use body wash, and that's so ghetto of me. So, yeah, I bought that. Then I brought some baby oil gel, and then I brought some regular just baby oil because it's, it's the skin is really it's 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 given ashy. Okay. Then I got some power. What do you call this, Nair? Yeah, Nair. This is so bright, my camera's so bright. I brought some Nair shower power so I can shave my arms. Well, so I can Nair my arms because my arms are so hairy. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're so hairy. Then I got this. I've been meaning to try this because I want to make wings and see if they um, come out good with this. So I got this, the Mike's Hot Honey. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm in the middle of cooking dinner, so yeah. I got the Meg's hot honey sauce. I'm gonna make wings this week and try this with that and make like a hot honey wing sauce, whatever you wanna call it. 
Then I got some pizza sauce because I'm gonna make homemade pizza. You guys know I love making homemade pizza. This is all from Target, guys, by the way. Why do I feel like this is hard? <gasps> this is expired, I knew it. Oh, I hope I got my receipt. I hope I got my receipt. I knew something was wrong with this. I knew it. I knew it. It felt hard as a rock. I knew it. I have some bullshit. Guys, I forgot to show you guys this candle that I got. I forgot to show you guys this candle I got from Tarjay. Um, and when I tell you guys you guys need to cop this, matter of fact, not too many at once actually but you guys need to get this candle it's called cucumber water mint you know what this candle smells like it smells exactly like a mojito like literally exactly like a mojito like if you like mojitos and you like the smell of them and how minty and like clean they smell but they smell like you know with like a hint of cucumber this is the candle for you girl please get this it smells amazing Tarjay and I don't know how much I paid for this because I can't seem to find my receipt so yeah hey guys so I already know you're probably asking what happened to the red hair um I took it off because the glue that she used was disgusting and it was making like honestly I don't like when hairstylists use anything besides um the gold the bold hold gold oh my god i'm trying to have my camera stand up without it falling i can't talk for long because i don't want this camera to fall she the glue that she used was like i don't know i think it was like ghost bond and if you know weave you know like that's like that's the bottom tier it was like just leaving like this nasty brown roly-poly looking stuff on my hair and i was scared i was gonna take off my edges like i told you guys in my last video, well, my maintenance video, that the way she laid my hair, I just felt like, um, ooh, don't watch that. Um, I just felt like she was gonna, I just felt like my edges were gonna come out if I let it stay too long. So, the second I started lifting, I put some alcohol on it and I took it off. But anyways, so today is the next day. I didn't even show you guys me making dinner last night because I just had so much to do. Um, but I just got an Amazon package. I already opened it. I should open it on camera, but... I want to show you guys what I got. So I got these dude wipes. Okay. You guys need to get on. Okay. This is like the best. These are like the best wipes for your tush. They smell like eucalyptus and mint tea. They have like eucalyptus and mint tea in it. But yeah. So they are really good for your tush. And I took off my mattress topper today. And honestly, that's what I feel like was messing up with my back. Um, I'm gonna see how I sleep tonight before I put it back on my bed. Cause if I sleep better tonight, it's I'm throwing it out. So yeah, but these, I think you guys should definitely try these out. They're called Dude Wipes, you can buy them on Amazon. I got a pack of three for like $12. And there's 48 wipes in each. Then they're flushable. And they smell so good. But anyways, I'm going to check back in with you guys when I go do something. I'm probably going to go to Chopped later because I don't feel like cooking. I'm so tired of cooking. So tired of it. So tonight might be my off night. But I'm going to make a smoothie later. So I'll show you guys when doing that. Because this smoothie came out so good the other day when I made it. So let's see how it turns out today. Anyways, I am about to leave the house to go. I don't know if I'm gonna bring my camera, guys, because it's on two legs. It's on two legs, and I just don't wanna break her because I'm really going to be consistent this year. And I don't know why this is in my face. Anywho, I think I'm gonna get faux locks too next week, guys, so I'll probably take you guys with me to do that. I don't know if I'm gonna include it in this vlog, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, we're gonna go get dinner. I really don't like how this hat looks on me. I don't know if it's because of the way I have my hair styled in it, but I'm looking real doofy. Yeah, he can take his hat back. Like, this is why you don't steal shit, because when you steal shit, it, it don't never work out in your favor. But, guys, I think I'm really about to get... See? She was about to fall already. I think I'm about to really 
get back on my health shit like i'm really about to get back on my fitness shit because i told you guys i lost some weight from covid and ever since i seen this new body i'm not ready to go back tomorrow i got an alarm set for me to work out six o'clock in the morning we'll see how that goes because i don't like waking up early not no more but we're gonna see how that goes but yeah i'm just I'm ready to get back. Whoa, did you guys see that lash? How she just tried to jump out my damn eye? Cause they're getting like old. You know, like when you have lash extension, they start, when they get old, they start to get crunchy. Don't, it doesn't matter how much you wash them, how many lash baths you do. When they get old, they start to get crunchy. So um, comment down below. Comment down below if you've ever had that experience with your lash extensions, like when they start to get old. Cause these are like, um, these are like two weeks old now, maybe three, but they're actually really still full. They're just a little kind of quiet. They're going a little different direction. Oh, look at that one. She's twerking. Okay guys, I'm back and guess what I found in my car? I found the other leg to my Gorilla Pod. So we're back in business. So now I can show you guys me making my drink. I got, let me show you guys what I got. You guys already know what I got. Oh. <laughs> She's supported. She's supported. So I got the Mexican Caesar. And then I get, I don't know what type of chicken this is, but it's really good. And oh, it smells heavenly. Hey guys, so if I'm talking about it, it's because I have my AirPods and I'm listening to music. I'm about to turn it off, hold on. Okay. Okay guys, so I'm back from the grocery store again, okay? Um, I just got back home. Um, I'm about to make dinner. Um, I'm making shrimp fried rice. I'm going to edit tonight. I put this Tatcha mask on my face and it was so bad this earlier when I got off of work and I gave myself like a little facial like guys take time for self-care okay I cannot I cannot um make this more of a statement you need to do self-care like today I was feeling really semi-productive but not productive you know when you just feel like you're doing something but at the end of the day you ain't really doing that much but you're trying to get there so anywho after i got off what i after i finished work earlier i gave myself a facial gave myself a nice face mask did a skin treatment exfoliated you know i have this mark right here i don't know what it is I might have to get that checked out. But yeah, I'm just, I wonder if that's the uh, birth control doing that to me. Cause you guys know I started birth control. I don't know. But anyways, I'm talking too much again and I'm just gonna show you guys me cooking. I kind of want to do, I'm gonna add you guys to my TikTok segment right now. Just a little cute B-roll. So yeah, we're gonna do, some shrimp fried rice. I'm gonna put my girl Gina on. I've been watching her. I love her. Love her. <laughs> but um, we are gonna get started cooking. So yeah, let's add some wine to this. Boy, you got me inspired. Baby, come and get it. Come and get it. Come and get it. 
Something that I can't find.